Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If you are looking for a quality model for creative writing, then have a look at this model called as Cynthia S1 27 billion, which has been fine tuned from Gemma 3 27 billion, which is yet another quality model from Google and we already have covered it on the channel. Cynthia model is a reasoning model that has been developed by Teslet AI. And as I said, this has been fine-tuned specifically for creative writing. Plus, if you are in, inclined to do some role play or some of the coding, this model can also do that. This has been built upon the robust Gemma 3 architecture. It excels in logical reasoning and also deep contextual understanding. It supports multimodal input, so both text and images, with a large 128K token context window. So you can even do some complex analysis. So let's get it installed and we will do some creative writing with the help of this Cynthia. I also want to thank Mast Compute for this VM Ubuntu and my GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment. And if you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM on a very, very affordable price tag, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Now let's install some of the prerequisites. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use VLLM for inference. As you can see, I'm installing it and then I will be using uh, Ubabuga's text generation web UI in order to use the GUI. And if you want to learn more about these technologies in detail, just search my channel. I have done heaps of videos on both of them. Anyway, I'm installing it from scratch as you can see. This is going to take few minutes. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGentBot. iGentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to the website in video's description. VLLM is installed. Now let's install our GUI with text generation web UI. And now let's log into Hugging Face in order to download the model. For that you would need your reach token which is a free token that you can grab from your hugging face profile and i am now logged in okay so next up let's download the model for that i'm just going to create a new directory you can just name it anything i'm calling it cynthia and then let's download the model it is going to be downloaded in the local directory of cynthia there are 12 shards of it so this is going to take a bit of a time. And the model is downloaded now. Let's launch it with our text generation web UI. And we are going to access it in our browser at the local host. It is going to initialize, put it the model onto our GPU. And then it will serve it with VLLM. And there you go, it is all loaded. Let's access it in our, in our browser. And you can see it is running. Let's click on model on the left hand side. So model is already loaded. I'm just going to click on load to make sure it is loaded onto our GPU. And the model is loaded. Let me make the screen a bit bigger so that we could know what is happening. Let's go back to the chat and then you know we need also need to set some parameters we should also be setting a template but before that let's set the parameters so for the hyper parameters which we need to set first you can see that i have set the temperature to one temperature controls randomness in token selection one is standard higher values make output more diverse lower values more deterministic and then i have set the top k to 64 top k limits the next token choice to the 64 most likely options increasing sampling quality and diversity and then top p is 0 
This sample tokens from the smallest set whose cumulative probability exceeds 95%, balancing creativity and coherence. It is also called as nucleus sampling. And then I have set the min p to 0.0. .0. This ignores tokens with probabilities below zero. So basically no minimum cutoff that allows full range of options. And then if you come down, there is one more which I have set that is the repetition um, penalty. There you go, so 1.3. So this penalizes repeated tokens in the output to reduce rep repetitiveness with 1.3 making repetition less likely. And these are all the parameters which have been recommended in their model card. And I will drop the link to it in video description. Let's click on save to make sure that it is safe. Okay, that looks good. Now, you can see that this is our um, chat window where you can uh, start chatting with it. And finally, in parameters, in instruction template, make sure that you have set this prompt. This is a recommended prompt from them for creative writing. And I'm just going to click on save here and again save that's done okay now let's go to chat and then let's start chatting the first prompt which i'm going to use is purely the creative writing so i'm asking it that the world's oldest and loneliest tree wakes up one morning to find a single impossible blossom growing on its highest branch as word spreads pilgrims scientists and poets alike begin to arrive, each with their own reason for seeking the blossom, write the story from the tree's perspective, exploring its longing, hope and the strange connection it feels with humanity. So let's start. So there you go, it's a reasoning model and it is thinking and then it is checking what it needs to do. So let's see how it goes. I will let it uh, write and then we will review uh, its prose, its coherence and everything. And while it is writing, let's also check the VRAM consumption. So it is consuming over 54 gig of VRAM, so massive model. And if we check it out, it has finished thinking and now it has uh, started writing the stories. And if you start reading it, it is actually showing quite an impressive creative breadth and an engaging narrative sort of voice in written word with clear attention to word building and character depth. Just pick up any line and you would see what I'm saying. The story looks quite imaginative and original and I think it can draw the readers into the unique setting and unfolding events in a coherent, evocative way. But I think there are few places where pace could be tightened or word choice refined for greater impact. Pretty good. So if I just show you, looks quite good. I think it finished its tokens, but even if I just look at what it has done here, in terms of thinking, this is really good because it was, it started hallucinating and then it came back and then it is uh, started talking about the actual topic now i have started another chat and in this one i'm asking it that during the pandemic of a mysterious laughter people across the globe find themselves unable to stop laughing for days on end as society plunges into chaos and joy becomes a curse a linguist seeks the origin of the laughter contagion tracing it back to a nearly forgotten fable and write the story combination of diary entries, scientific notes, and a rediscovered myth, blending fact and legend into a new reality. But I'm also telling you to don't think too much and start writing the story as soon as possible. It says someone wants me to write about this global outbreak. Anyway, let's wait for it. And there you go, yet another one. And in this one, you can clearly see that it is showing a strong command of language and narrative flow. And if you look at, for example, this paragraph around diary um, entries, it is developing organically and the dialogue really, really feels natural, adding authenticity to the character's voices. The story structure 
already looks solid and thematic elements are well integrated in my opinion but if you look at these paragraphs there are some sudden abrupt transitions anyway i will let it complete its outline and stuff and then we will review further and there you go so it has finished thinking and look at this part one where it is the first wave and look at the prose it started innocently enough a few chuckles during the morning news report about some politician tripping harmless then my neighbor burst into peals of laughter you see the theme is really being followed here characters voices are there the city echoed with myth at first it felt liberating but after hours it became exhausting my jaw aches focus is impossible and then date by date my husband hasn't slept in days he laughs even in his sleep we tried out isolation earplugs everything futile society unravels so you see these are the real diary um, entries and the model has really shown the capacity to craft inventive and entertaining creative fiction and then there is part two so already because it's uh, context window is just like this but we can already tell that the writing is simply very very sublime few cons inconsistencies here and there but i think we can ignore them given the quality of the model let's try one more okay next in the instruct mode what i have done i have just asked is that in a society where memories are currency a destitute poet trades away fragments of their most cherished moments to survive one day they stumble upon a memory that doesn't seem to be their own and it leads them to a hidden power struggle within the city's elite write the poet's journey let's see how it goes so thinking is started and now let's read through this story you can already tell that the model is displaying a notable flair for creativity building an intriguing atmosphere with thoughtful descriptions and imaginative concepts so for instance it is understanding what it needs to do then the setting that memories are currencies and the protagonist is a poet that's important a poet relies on emotions and experiences for inspiration how good is that and then the turning point so the character motivations are very very clear and there is a sense of progression that Uh, really keeps the reader invested in my opinion some paragraphs as i read, read through they could benefit from maybe sharper focus or more nuanced emotional development but i think the prose remains articulate and engaging it is describing the themes very well the overall the writing really shows promise effectively capturing the sense of prompt while offering surprising and original twist as you can uh, move through it like in the heart of a veridia a metropolis built upon traded memories elara eked out a living as a poet bettering bartering fragments of her life for sustenance one day amid a routine sale elara stumbled upon a discordant echo so you can see that it, it is wonderfully well and all the key elements are there so look i believe pretty good fine tune of course there is always a room for improvement but i think if you're looking for a creative writing model give cynthia a go if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you